Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a little while since I've posted quite a bit, um, so I'm actually fairly excited to be back on here and I apologize I haven't had any postings um, for the past couple months. Um, funny story actually, I did make two videos and I recorded it on my phone. I put it onto my laptop, I had a MacBook um, Air. It had only 256 gigabytes, so unfortunately I ran out of space on that little laptop and I wasn't able to load the video on there and do editing and um, that's kind of one of the reasons I had paused the videos. So more recently I've actually upgraded to a larger storage capacity laptop, so I'm really excited to use that for editing videos and just in general, you know, so um, there's that. So that was the reason, like I mentioned. The other reason was um, I was actually job hunting and have been really just trying to put my focus in my interviews and finally landed, you know, um, a role that I'm just so thrilled about um, at a pretty amazing company. So that took some of my time as well. So I just wanted to give you a little update there before we go directly into the what fits in my bag. Yeah, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so you probably know from the title of this video that we're going to be talking about Ferrer La Page, which I'm so excited about. I know a long time ago I did um, an unboxing video of the Ferrer La Page Battle Tote, Daily Battle Tote in the size 37. And uh, unfortunately, I didn't get really get to use that um, since I had purchased it over COVID, used it a couple times, and then after I used it a couple times, I realized, you know, what I really liked about it, but what it was just missing, one little thing it was missing. So um, as part of sort of like a little you know, nice, something nice to have for my new job. I decided to give myself a little treat here and got essentially three items. Did I need these three? Probably not, but you know what? I was just feeling it and I wanted to share this with you all. So hopefully it's also a nice kind of um, feedback as to whether this is something that would suit your day-to-day -day needs as well. So getting started in the list here, let's go in no particular order. I think what I wanna do is kind of talk a little bit about the bag, first show you the bag, and then kind of show you what I currently have inside the bag because I've been using it and just really, I just love it so much. Let me go ahead and show you this one. It's a little heavy because I have a lot of stuff in here. Yeah, so this is the um, Ferre La Page Daily Battle Tote, and this is in the size 35. If you recall, I got the size 37 last time with the no zip. This one, the main difference is that there is a zip up here, which let me tell you is just really, really great because it's so secure and it makes me feel more comfortable like carrying my things around or leaving it somewhere um, on the desk um, and just having that zip there just that's a lot more security for me personally. Um, but yeah, it's the very traditional motif here, as you can see from Ferrer La Page. When I went online to get this, and I actually, today's October 28th, so I purchased this about, I think a week ago or so. Um, and then when I got this, there were only two color types on the, um, on the website. This was one of them. And this one is the, I believe this is like the black with the dark gray steel. I'm going to put all the links for these three items below in the description box. Um, so you will have that to refer to, but basically it was this one and then it was another gray one. So there weren't really too many options. And between the two, I thought this one would suit me better. It is darker definitely. And I felt like it could um, be a little bit more compatible with my, um, you know, the general wardrobe that I have. So yeah, very straightforward. This is what it looks like. Um, and essentially I got this in, um, well, actually I didn't get this. It's, it, it all comes like this. Um, it has the gold hardware, as you can probably see, it's not like a deep gold. It's more like a lighter gold. So kind of like a champagne gold, I would say, or a little, um, yeah, I would say it's like that. So it's very, very beautiful on the bottom. It doesn't have any feet. It's just basically flat canvas. So because it's canvas, um, it is really light and I really love it for that. There are some leather, um, you know, areas on the bottom of the bag, as you can probably see on the edges here on all four edges. So the handle here, again, this is very similar to the regular daily battle tote. If you're familiar with that, except that it just has a zipper. Um, and you know, obviously the handle is adjustable. So that's really nice. I actually have this on a longer strap so I could wear this over my shoulder like that. Um, man, I'm getting like out of breath here because this is just so heavy. It's a workout. So I'm going to put this down and I'm going to open it and I'm going to show you what I currently have inside. Okay. So I also really love this leather tab. You probably saw it earlier, just like, you know, the, the yellow and the, um, and the 
kind of black leather. It's just so pretty. So let me open this up. Really smooth, really butterly smooth zip. So just a quick um, look and view into the bag. This is what I have in here. It's There's a lot of stuff in here and it can definitely fit more as you can see, but there's really no point in stuffing more in here um, unless you, you know, you're just gonna make your bag heavier. So I just put in the essentials that I would need um, when I take this bag to work. So I actually have been in the office quite a bit this week because it is my last week and you know, I just thought, you know, let me use this bag and I've been using it and I just love it. So yeah, it's very, it's been um, quite, quite, quite nice. Um, so coming out of this bag first <laughs> is my new laptop. Thank God it has a larger storage space. So I will be able to edit videos and uh, post videos accordingly. So this is actually the 16 inch um, MacBook. And uh, this is like the, it's a pretty large laptop, obviously, right? And then we can see that it fits very easily into this bag with no problem and it was able to zip it. So if you have a 16 inch um, MacBook Air or if you just have a 16 inch laptop, you're definitely able to fit it in this bag. Again, this is the daily um, Battles uh, size 35 zip. Um, just because, you know, other laptops, they tend to be thicker than the Mac, so you could still definitely fit it because there's a lot of room in here, right? It's a very flexible bag. So, yeah, so that's the laptop that I have in here. The nice thing coming out is actually my um, zip. So this wasn't from this time's purchase. I actually got this um, for my first Ferrari LaPage purchase and the video, um, it was part of that first video I made. So I've just been using it with this bag. And what's funny is that I didn't even realize, oh my goodness, I'm so silly. The 37 um, size Daily Battle Tote I got was actually the traditional um, brand name blue color, the navy blue. This is obviously not navy blue. Um, the pouch I get, I got previously actually matches this bag, so it kind of worked out. Um, so I'm really happy um, with this. I'll leave the link below for the size. I don't remember right now, but I'll leave the link below if you're interested in this pouch. And I just love it because if you're at work and you wanted to go out for lunch for whatever reason, you don't want to bring this whole big bag. You could just take out the little pochette and then you could grab and go and take this with you. So um, this definitely is very reminiscent of the Louis Vuitton Neverfull, but I like this a lot more just because, you know, it's not as ubiquitous, right? Not everyone has this brand, not everyone knows it. So if you wear this to work, it's not, I, to me, at least in my humble opinion, it's not as flashy and I like that. And I just also really like the print itself. Um, so I, yeah, I love this and it just feels so, so sturdy, so luxurious. And um, this is a leather uh, on the bottom completely. And of course the canvas here, same champagne gold zip, just so smooth, right? Um, what I have in here are really the essentials. Oh, and so while we're getting into here, I might as well tell you the second item I got from this time's um, Ferrari Lepage um, purchase is this little wallet. It is just the cutest little wallet. Um, isn't it? So it's really tiny. As you can see, this is my palm. I don't have the largest palm and you can already tell that this wallet fits very like, you know, small. Um, it's pretty small and contained within my palm. So it's a pretty um, compact little wallet. And I love this. This color, obviously, as you can tell, is a different color from the dark um, steel gray and the black trim here. This one is the traditional color of Ferrari La Page, the brand color. And this one actually matches my other bag. Um, yeah, don't, I don't know what I was thinking. I'm <laughs> getting all these different colors, but you know what? It's fine. I like all of them. Um, but yeah, you have the very beautiful yellow trim in leather there, the blue leather, and then of course the canvas. And then you have the little branding at the bottom, but when you open it, this is what it looks like. So you have one compartment here, you have another compartment underneath here, and then you have essentially two card slots here. And this is another card slot in the event you are interested in using, um, putting a card here, you definitely could. I currently don't. How I'm currently using it, I have about, I think I have about five bills in here folded, um, just, you know, in half. And then I have like um, some little coupons, cards, um, little, um, you know, papers here that I like to put secured under this side of the flap. And then I just have two cards um, 
in each of these slots. So I have my IDs and then I have my credit card, my major credit card here. And then I left this one empty just because I kind of like the aesthetics of it. But like I was saying, you could definitely fit another card in here. So I would say you could fit five cards in here very comfortably. And uh, the only, I guess, downside per se is that there's no like magnetic closure or there's no button to snap it. So technically it could come, it could open up, right? If you, if you don't like that, then maybe this isn't the wallet for you, but um, I like it. I think it's so cute. Cute. I don't have any wallets that look like this. Most of my wallets are either zipper or little buttons. Um, so this is definitely different and just super, super adorable. These, they do come in um, a lot more color. So if you're interested in a different color, they definitely have those options. But yeah, again, uh, links will be below. All the pricing will be per the link. So I just want to make sure I'm not giving you the wrong numbers here. Um, but I want to say this was like a little under 400 USD um, for this one. So, oh, you know what? I am so silly. I have the numbers right here. So really quickly, this wallet, it's called the Pocket Wallet Attendard. Um, and this one was actually 360 USD. So really not bad. And I really like the price of Ferrero La Poche. It's not extraordinarily crazy like Louis Vuitton prices these days. And I also just love the fact that the craftsmanship is so nice. Um, from what I recall, I believe that the motifs here, a lot of it is hand um, printed, hand done. So a little bit like Goyard, but of course that brand is very, very expensive. And this brand has been around for a very long time since the 1700s, but they didn't start making handbags and everything until um, not too long ago. I'll have to look into the details of that, but I'll put that date on the screen here for you. But essentially it's just crafted beautifully. And I think that, you know, this is definitely a lot more understated in, in, in compared to other brands. So you really need to know to know the brand to know, hey, this is for La Podge. But yeah, this is 360 USD. The bag that we were just looking at, this one, oh man, it's a lot lighter without that laptop. This bag is, um, $1,450 USD. But yeah, this is the bag. And the last thing um, that I got, I got three items. You probably already noticed this earlier, is this little um, sort of bag tag. I thought it was super cute. It is sort of in the shape, obviously, um, uh, of a weapon because for La Podge is known for their, you know, for weaponry and, you know, creating um, bags and uh, all the likes for weapons uh, as part of their history. So I really wanted to get something like this and I thought it would look really cute. I think it does, but you know, honestly, in terms of usability, I'm not really even sure I would really use this. It's more for decoration purposes. So in hindsight, would I get this charm thing again? Probably not, but now that I've gotten it, I mean, I would just probably just keep it. Um, but yeah, so this is actually a little mirror. So they have a little button here, if you can tell, and it just opened the button and then you see the mirror right there. So it's just kind of like a nice thing to have, but honestly, these days, I just look at my cell phone to make sure that I don't have like veggies stuck in my teeth <laughs> before I'm talking to people. So um, don't think I'll really be using this, but it's nice to have definitely. Um, but for folks who are interested in like a little mirror and a nice accessory outside their bag, I think this is really cute. So yeah, that was the third item I got. And this item was um, $160 USD, so yeah. That's what it looks like. Okay, so really quickly going into the what's in my bag. I know we did quite a bit of detour here everywhere, so I do apologize for that. But getting back to this pochette really quickly, we looked at the wallet that I have in here that fits in here. Um, the other things I have are is this little mesh bag with all, you know, my feminine items. We wanted to go through that. And then a smaller one to match in that has like, you know, chapstick. Um, uh, eye drops, etc. I love these two. These are actually from the Bays collection, um, and I uh, have been using these just to store my little knickknacks. And I like that it's kind of transparent, so you can see what you have in each of them. So yeah, these are great. Both of these fit in here. Um, the other thing I have in here is a hand sanitizer, which obviously is a must. I really like this. This is the uh, Touchland brand. You can get these at Target. They got so many different scents. It just is amazing. So I really like these. And I also like how compact it is. The next item I have in here are a pair of ear pods. So always keep that in this one in case I take this. I need to, you know, be hands free for whatever reason. Um, and the second to last item uh, is my um, Hermes card holder. This one I use primarily just to keep coupons and uh, gift cards and whatnot. So I have a couple other 
a couple items in here. Um, I don't really use this for anything else just because, again, this is a very small compact wall. It can't really fit too much. I keep my main items in here and, again, gift cards, coupons in this one. So that's yeah, really cute. Okay, so the last item I have in here is just a pen. I mean, we all need a pen, right? So I always make sure that I carry a pen with me in case. You never know. Yeah, so that is what I have in this pochette. So let me really quickly put all these items back in and let's look at what's in the rest of the um, tote bag. So for the rest of the items in here, this is kind of what it looks like right now. We're kind of getting to the end here. Um, because, you know, obviously, like I was saying, I want this to be like independent of the bag. If we, I need to go anywhere, I can just grab this and have all my essentials. I do have a little bit of a duplication. So I have another mesh bag in here. This one I literally just got from Shein a little while ago. I don't know if everyone's aware of that brand, but they sell so many things from clothing to household to like um, hair ties to these little baggies. So I saw this on Shein and it was only $1. <laughs> I kid you not. So I got it and um, definitely not the best quality, but I mean, honestly, for $1, I can't complain at all, right? So I keep sort of like my sun um, screen lotion, um, some medication, perfume, floss, some belly tea, feminine stuff in here. So again, like I said, a little bit of duplication um, as that pochette, but I wanted to like just have it in here in case I needed it for, you know, whatever reason. So yeah, so there's this. The next item in here, I just carry a little Ziploc bag. I always carry a clean Ziploc bag because sometimes I just feel like you never know when you might need a Ziploc bag. I've been in those situations before. So that's why I always carry one of these with me. The next thing I have um, are these um, blue light glasses. And I really like these. These are from Amazon. And um, these ones basically, they look like that. Um, I think this one's in, is this in gold or is this in rose gold. I can't really tell anymore. I got a pack of three. There's so many colors, silver, rose gold, you know, yellow gold, black, gray or something. And these are really great because, you know, if you're looking at the computer screen all day, obviously you need a pair of, you know, the glasses will help your eyes and it will, you know, help with the straining and everything. So these I really love because I have a pretty big face and it's been kind of hard finding glasses that would fit my face well. So I really, really like these. Um, Let's see, what do we have next? Um, next we have in here is just, oh yeah, this is just like a little baggie, a jewelry bag that I currently use to house my mask. I just have an extra mask in here that I don't really wear a mask anymore these days, but I just have this in here in case I were to need it. Okay, so yeah, that pretty much is everything in the main compartment. The only other thing is I do have an air tag in here, so I can obviously track my bag if it gets lost. Hopefully it never does. Um, and so on the side, the difference, I guess, between this one also, besides the zipper, the difference between this one and then, you know, no zip, the open daily battle is that this one actually has two pockets on the side here. This one I currently use to house my sunnies. These are from um, Quay. Uh, I think I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I really like these sunnies. Um, obviously, they have a really nice kind of um, ombre effect. So really large and covers all of my face and is UV, um, you know, protection. So that helps a lot. In the other pocket here, I just have, um, sorry, it's a black hole. I know it's really hard to see. I just have mints. I really like these Simply Mints. They're great. Um, and then I have lotion for my hand because I have dry really dry cracked hands all the time and yeah i actually should have a chapstick here but i don't know where it went typically i put it in this little pocket here too on the other side there is a zip compartment also beautiful beautiful smooth um zip here and in here i oh in here i have a thesis okay yeah so not sure if you're aware of this these are um sort of like herbal supplements for your brain i, I actually um got a trial kit for this just to see if it helps because I've just been so tired lately and you know um, they have different types of um, I guess categories um, and you know you take a little quiz and you see whether which category you fit into I got energy creativity um, I'm losing it right now <laughs> there's like logic also but basically you take a quiz and then it lets you kind of figures out based on you know your habits um, sort of which ones would work best for you so um, yeah so this one is energy it says it's best for busy days intense workouts staying alert after a night of suboptimal sleep so far I've taken five of these honestly I haven't felt anything I still feel so exhausted so 
I don't think the energy one works for me. I don't know if it works for other people. If any of you take these, I would love to know like have they worked for you or not. Um, Cause again, I'm still on my trial package. So we'll see. But yeah, anyways, that was in my last pocket here. So now that that's empty, you can kind of see that, you know, this is the bag. It's so light. It is definitely like just, it's just so amazingly light because it's canvas, right? So um, what's really weighing it down are all the items I had in there previously. So I would say that honestly, you know, if you are looking for a work tote, this is a great, great bag. I love it. It fits a 16 inch laptop perfectly with so much more room to spare. Granted, it's going to be a little heavy, right? But that's kind of what you're you should be expecting if you're gonna put like a huge laptop in the bag. And um, I just love it. Now, um, do I like this more than the Daily Battle 37 with the no zip? Absolutely. Um, I I kind of wish that there was a bigger size than this, but this is the larger size. This is the 35 and I don't think they have another size larger than this. But for what it's worth, I mean, it fits my laptop perfectly. I think the price point is actually really good for a luxury tote um, and for the quality. The fact that it's like, you know, handcrafted. I mean, that's pretty amazing to me, honestly. So yeah, I love it. I really love for Page items, although I don't have quite a few. This is my second purchase. Um, I do really enjoy it. And I was actually looking on their website. There's one bag that I really, really, really like. It's called the Take Easy 19, but I don't think I can justify spending another, um, how much is that? I think it's about like $1,200 or something. Yeah, I don't think I should be spending more money. <laughs> but yeah, um, I hope this review was helpful for you and I hope you, you know, were able to take a little bit away and see if this is the right tote for you for your everyday needs. Um, so again, really happy to be back here again and hope you're all doing well. And as always, please stay happy, healthy, and safe, and I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.